Hello and welcome and welcome back to my channel. Please excuse the noise from my fans for one and two. We aren't doing very much today, but we are doing an eyeshadow tutorial. I don't have a clue what I have planned for this. I'm just going to start doing my eyes and then do the rest of my face. And I guess we'll see where it goes. I'm going to use a pore filler. This was a DIY pore filler. Um, and I will leave the instructions and ingredients for that down below in the description box because it's super easy to make. Now this looks extremely light and super weird, but a little bit of time, this pore filler soaks in and it really does work. So I am just going to let that soak in while I do my eyes. So I use this uh, dark brown, medium brownish um, pencil liner and I took it to my outer corner V and just one sweep into my crease. Now I'm taking this lipstick applicator. I use this because it's like kind of fuzzy, kind of soft, and it's good for smudging. But if you have something that's just as porous like this uh, eyeshadow applicator, if you want to try that, then you can. I don't personally like it, but I'm just going to blend that out just so I can have a deeper crease. Now I'm going to go in with this pink, this pinkish shade, and I might mix it a little bit with this same pinkish shade, but slightly darker, just to run, uh, blend it above my crease. What am I trying to say? I'm just gonna add some tape to my face. I got tape on my face. I got tape on my face. Oh, I got tape on my face. Tape on my face. Oh.
Okay, so now I'm going to use the same eyeshadow base concealer to cut my crease. And on top of that, I am going to apply, if this works out, I'm going to apply this um, a very light, mauveish pink shade of an eyeliner. Well, it's really a lip liner, but sheesh. <laughs> It seems to be applying alright, even though the pigment isn't coming up and very pink. So I'm going to go ahead and um, apply it just for the creamy texture because this one already looks creamier, smoother, more filled in, while this one does not. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other one, despite the fact that it didn't really work that well. Just decided to go in with a, a lighter pink mixed a lighter pink, there's not much of it there, a lighter pink mixed with the same first shade of pink. Um, I went in with a little bit of this purple shade. I applied it here. Well, well I'm, I'm going to apply it here on the outer V of my eye and then sweep it up and in just a little bit. Not much, just a little bit so there's a nice transition there. A V, up, and inward. Just a little bit. Sure what I exactly I want to do for this halo. I want to do silver, but I also just want to stick with all the pink. Now this is very hard. This is a very hard choice. I ha so I have my glitter palette here, and I'm looking at it, <clears throat> and I am having the struggle of a lifetime. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this silvery white down here, and this is my Beauty Treats um, uh, 12 color glitter palette. That's all. I am going to take my UHD A2O Lab setting spray. I'm going to spray some just inside of the cap. Kind of going to use it as people would use Max Mac Fix Plus. Same brush, which is just a little round head, uh, very little. I'm going to dip into my setting spray, get all the excess liquid off, and my LA Colors 18 shadow, shadow color palette and I'm going to go in with that silvery color 
it's like a bronzed silver and it comes out so gorgeous when it's wet Now that is the silver halo that I want, but just because it's slightly too silver, it's like, it's almost a mix of silver and gold, because like I said, it's a bronzed silver, but I am just going to add just a little bit of that light pink, right, that light pink that I mixed with on top of it. Just, just a little bit. So for the transition, I'm just going to mix the same first two pinks. This one and this one. And we're just keeping it all in the family. So I'm going to do my inner corner, my bottom lash line, and my wing, and of course my mascara, uh, and my eyebrows after I apply my foundation. So I'm just going to beat the rest of my face. And finish! So I am back, and um, I thought that I was going to go somewhere today to where, I don't know, but... I was wrong as usual, so I'm going to just stay by myself in the house, which means I'm not going to beat the rest of my face. I'm not even going to put on foundation. I don't, like, I have this line on, on my face now. As a result of unexpectedly, of unexpectedly, of unexpected changes, unexpected changes in my plans. As you can see, I have my outfit picked on the airline, but since my plans have changed, that's all right. I've sat down, got me some to eat, uh, took a nap, uh, watched some Grimm. I'm absolutely obsessed with that show right now and I do not know why, but if you haven't watched it, if you have Amazon Prime, go watch. All right, now I feel like I needed some some more light, so I'm taking a, um, I'm taking this white shadow from my Academy of Color Perfect Naturals and I'm just gonna go in right along the crease all the way out just to highlight that right in the middle and a little bit more right up this way because I want my inner corner to pop I'm going to take the same little opal head brush and my concealer, or eyeshadow base should I say, and apply some to my inner corner, because I do have a dark inner corner just then I'm going to apply the same white shade. If you don't want to do white, you could always use the silver if you feel like white isn't for you. Now I'm just going to pop it right there. go back in with that sil that bronzed silver and place it right on top.
Okay, so I wanted to do one side with a liner and one side without a liner, just in case you aren't very, you aren't the liner type. I think this look works without a liner as well as it does with a liner because I feel like I need something on, on my bottom lash line. I'm going to take that same uh, little pink lip liner and just trace out my bottom lash line. Same, this, this light pink. Same light pink for the cut crease. I'm going to add the um, bronzed silver right into the middle. Just into the middle. All right, so here is my final look in the sunlight. The sun is kind of going down, but that's all right, I suppose. It looks really nice, actually. But this is my final look with a liner on one side, if you're a liner person, and no liner on the other side, just in case you're not a liner person. In my opinion, it all comes together with some liner and mascara. And my ombre lips, brown eye, brown lip liner, and then a pink lipstick, two shades of pink lipstick, a lighter one and then a darker one on top, and then I used a medium gold lip gloss. Now, did I really need lip gloss? I don't know, but pink and brown ombre lips just give me some sort of a Gwen Stefani type of feel like. Well, it's popping. My lip gloss is cold. All those boys be stopping. They trust me after school. Okay, let me get out this window dancing and looking crazy. So let me bring you in again. Like I said, I didn't do my whole face, but don't look that bad. I mean, some females be walking around looking like this anyway with the highlight and then like look like they ain't blended out nothing. 
no shay no see thank you for watching please like subscribe comment and stay blessed